Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I wanted to just do this video on uh, my sincere appreciation and gratitude that I have towards Linus at Linus Tech Tips for his recent video. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out on his channel. You know where to find it. Uh, it's on right to repair. He covered right to repair and he went over it better than I think I probably have on this channel in the past seven or eight years. I have a tendency to ramble and repeat myself. It makes me a bad speaker and bad at getting things across. He got the point across very quickly. He was able to, in 10 or 12 minutes, manage to fit in every point I've gone over for the past six to seven years, every single point that a consumer should know, every single straw man argument against right to repair, and a fucking sponsored ad spot all in 12 minutes. I don't know how he does it, but he did it, and he did a very good job of it. And I wanted to express my gratitude for several reasons. The first being that he has a much larger audience than me, of a lot, and it's a lot more generalized audience. You know, it's not just going to be people that are interested in, uh, you know, shit-talking, crappy New York City real estate, or component level soldering and PP by G3 hot being 8.1 volts instead of 8.5 and the SMC is dead. So there's a lot more people that are going to know what right to repair is now as a result of what he did. The second reason I appreciate it is because I understand what he's giving up by doing that video. What do I mean by that? I remember there was someone that I, as one of my better friends, and it was a family member who was involved with venture capital and things like this, and they wanted to help me out with this, with this nonprofit. They were happy to do so. And the moment they figured out what it was, they went to their work and figured out it was a conflict of interest and they would not be able to help me with it because they dealt with certain companies, not Apple, but certain other companies that I honestly would have never expected to be anti-right to repair. They're, the the anti-right to repair rabbit hole goes so far deeper than just Apple, some medical companies, and John Deere or Samsung or anything like that. There's, there's a lot of people out there that want to see this recurring revenue bundle, or as Scott Galloway calls it, the rundle, where you're constantly paying each year, each month, to get access to something, whereas in the past you just paid once, now you pay over and over again. Right to repair and the ability to fix something so it lasts longer, so that you're not as interested in getting the new one or paying for a subscription service or paying for some uh, recurring insurance that you pay for every month, it really does go against what a lot of companies are looking to do. And I was incredibly surprised that someone that I've, I've spoken to that seems like a much more talented, sociable person than I am would not be allowed to work for my organization because of the conflict of interest with their job doing something that for a company that I really didn't think had anything to do with this. So what, what am I talking about here? The fact that he did this video in, and the fact that he has so many sponsors that are involved in consumer electronics and computer hardware and so on and so forth, putting his, you know, just drawing his line in the sand and saying, this is what I believe, I'm on this side of it. Knowing that he has over a dozen employees that he has to pay livable wages to, and knowing that he has a company to run expenses, and he's responsible for all these people, I know what that feels like. And to put a line in the sand in a way that's going to potentially cause um, a rift or an issue between yourself and some of these sponsors or companies that may have been willing to sponsor you that may not be willing to now, that means that he's probably giving up money to, to say what he said. And anytime someone that has a staff of people that they're responsible for, for you know, having a roof over their head and feeding and paying for their stuff or their health care, I guess not health care because he's in Canada. They don't have the bullshit system we do here. But anyway, uh, th th he's responsible for the lives and families of all these people. That's the way I feel as a business owner. And he is. And in order to speak about what he spoke about, he may be uh, leaving a lot of money on the table or watching that money leave the table as a result of it. And I appreciate that and I respect that. And I want to say thank you very much for that. I know what you may be losing as a result of doing this and I genuinely appreciate what you did. You got this across to a large group of people that may have not known about it, may have not cared about it, and you know you just planted a seed. And that's not, that's really all I'm asking. I'm not asking everybody to change their mind or, you know, um, run to their local legislature immediately. Honestly, I would just be happy having a seed planted in the minds of a bunch of people that eventually grows into a tree of, why can't I find a part to fix something I own <laughs> when I, we used to be able to do this just a generation or two ago? So, uh, yeah, I'm happy. And I, I, didn't I saw the video today, and I didn't want to wait until tomorrow to, to say thank you. But I also didn't feel like turning on my lighting and computer and using DaVinci and all that other crap to edit a video because it's kind of late and I just wanted to go to sleep. So I just wanted to get this out there and say thank you very much. I am very grateful 
and uh, I, I hope to be able to do to continue doing amazing things with this. I am speaking with some people about bills that exist in some of the current states. Some of the the things is if you want to do a direct ballot initiative, it's kind of weird to do a direct ballot initiative when you have a bill that's already introduced in that state especially if the direct ballot initiative bill may be different. Some of these bills that are in some of the states at, at the moment as they read, I think that it could be interpreted that I wouldn't be able to get access to things like, let's say, schematics or chipsets. I'd be able to get access to what the authorized repair manufacturer, uh, what, what the manufacturer's authorized repair center gets ma uh, access to, which as I've demonstrated in many of these videos is pretty much you know, like a shipping label printer in a box so that you could ship it back to the manufacturer and have them give you a refurbished one when you have nothing but wrong with your phone but your charge board. So that's not, that may not work. So it's going to be interesting threading this needle, figuring out what to do. Am Ariel, should we introduce in new states? Are we able to edit the bills in some of these states? If we're not able to edit the bills in these states, is there a way that you can, you know, Kind of finagle editing them. If we can't, can we go on the ballot? Uh, am I going to raise enough to actually be able to go on the ballot? If I don't raise enough to go on the ballot, maybe I'll just do traditional lobbying in many of these states in order to try to push bills forward that uh, that uh, believe in what I say on the schematics or die t-shirt. But this is a movement, and I think that we made some progress today. And, you know, Linus is to thank for that. So, by all means, check out his video and give him a thank you. I think he's earned it. He deserves it. And again, Anytime someone gives up their own personal money but potential to generate revenue and income into the future that they use to feed their staff because they have a principle and they want to stick to that principle, I respect you. You know, Linus and I have fundamental deep differences, deep-rooted cultural ingrained differences. Socks and sandals are not okay, <laughs> but I will, I will give him a pass because he did something really good today and I was – I wanted to say I'm grateful. Anyway, did, did I say in the beginning of this video I have a tendency to repeat myself? I do. So I'm out of here. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you so much.